Robbie, is it a bit of a tough one to take today? Um, yeah, horrible. I'm gutted. Um, it's probably one of the worst feelings in football, especially as a goalie, to concede a last minute winner. But shouldn't it, shouldn't it be like that? But it is a horrible feeling. Did you think you were unlucky not to be originally in the starting lineup today? Um, I'm not sure. Obviously, got my chance last week. Kept a clean sheet, got to three points, and at the time we went top of the league. So, but as I've said to you before, I come in every every week thinking I'm going to be playing just so. I'm in that mindset in case I am called upon. So when he when he named the team, I'm not gonna lie, I was I was a bit gutted. Um naturally it just comes naturally. If you're not you're not playing, you're a bit gutted. But again just had had to get on with it and, and wait for my next chance and it came a lot quicker than I thought after he named named the team. To what extent was that Erdy goal against runner play today? The winner. No, the the uh, opening goal. The opening goal, sorry. Um yeah, it was against the run of play. Um, I can't even remember it to be honest with you. Um, it's another header on it from four yards out. Two two goals identical, pretty much. We were in uh, we were in control of the game the whole the whole ninety minutes. But there's always that threat. If you're not not winning, not two two goals clear, then there's all you're always running that risk of going behind, and that's what we did. And we left ourselves an uphill task. At, at half time, which once we got back into it, got the equaliser. I'm pretty sure everybody in the crowd would agree with me here and say that we were the team that were going to end up going on and winning it if there was going to be a winner out of the two. But it's not the case. I mean, the second goal, it's it's just a bad bad goal to lose. Don't don't deal with the the flick on and then don't don't track your runner and he's got he's got a free shot from five yards out, which is. Which is horrible, especially in the last second of the game. Is that just tiredness that affected that concentration, or something else? I wouldn't have thought so. Well, we'll be by far the fittest team in this league. We're the only one that's pretty much every player's full time. So, without a doubt, we're we're the fittest team in the league. But so no, that's that's not an excuse for it. But there is no excuse for it. Let's put it that way. Um, we should be dealing it dealing with it as a team. The manager spoke uh, in local media during the week, saying he feels that. Falkirk are to a lesser extent having to deal with what the old firm deal with in terms of teams raising their game against them. Would you agree with that or not? Um, yeah, actually, um, we're obviously the team to beat in this league. Where no, so we're gonna we're gonna come in want want to beat us. Um, but we'll sit when I, I think every game here has been every team's been sitting five at the back. It is it is hard to break down. I'll give I'll give the forwards or due. It is hard to break down, but the players we have are good enough for. We're the best players in the league. Let's put it that way, and they should be, they should be finishing their chances, creating more chances, and even the defence. We should be dealing with all these cross balls much, much better than we did today. From a player's point of view, is it frustrating having to deal with that? Um, no, we we concentrate on ourselves. To be fair, we go out and play our our own game. Um, if we play to our standards that we should do, we should beat every team in this league, especially at home, week in, week out. So no, we don't really look into that, but again, today it's, it was just not good enough. What's the mood like in the dressing room immediately after that, given um, it's the, the second home defeat? There was a lot of anger within, within each other. Um, me personally, I'm, I'm absolutely gutted that we've conceded in the last minute. Um, as a goalie, you want to keep a clean sheet every, every game game you play, but to concede a last minute uh, winner, it's, it's a sinking feeling, it's not nice. Important that we bounce back from this though and bounce back quickly. Yeah, um, of course we'll be going out next week and that is our aim to to beat Dumbarton and to get three points and hopefully go back, back to the top and this time stay there. And that's the thing, if, if Falkirk can go on a run, in fact any team at the moment goes on a run, the kind of number one slot's there for the taking yeah, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Every team can beat every team in this league I would say us we should be beating every team in the league maybe we, we won't win every game it's not it's not possible it's not a thing much much teams can do every every season but we should be at the top of that table and beating teams especially again at home today and should we be and personally do you think we should have like a be not only be top of the league but be perhaps further ahead than we were last week Um, I don't think it matters how Quite far clear you are at this stage of the season. Anyway, 
we got to the top of the league last last week and our aim was to stay there, which we should have again today, but we just haven't for whatever reason. But again, there's just no excuse for, for our performance today. And just finally, Robbie, look, uh, it's a Dumbarton away next week. Mm -hmm. Can we go and get that result to get us back on track? Yes, well, again, that, that'll be our aim to go get the three points. We always had a very positive result against them last time out, but since then um, they've seemed to kick on a bit from that from that game. But no, I'd say three points and a a good, comfortable win is is always the aim. Here's hoping. Robbie, well played today, and as always, thanks for your time. Thank you.